Hello, my name is Michele Savino and I am the product manager for the flow sensor Balscan LMS 511. Today we explain the basic settings that are needed to start to work with this sensor. We will start by teaching in the reference contour, setting up the basic measurement parameters and configuring some important system settings, like the tolerances, the contamination degree and the edge monitoring. The values indicated in the following video are only examples, as the data depends on the mounting and installation conditions. After downloading the SOPAS tool from SIC.com, click on Login and type the authorized client password. Now, double-click on the Balscan picture relevant to the connected device. We will start the commissioning by teaching in the reference contour. Set the left and right angles such that the maximum possible conveyor belt width can be acquired. Consequently, set the maximum distance and then click on the teaching button. As soon as the teaching is finished, the green indication appears in the top left box. In the measurement tab, you can select a source for the conveyor belt speed. It is possible to use a fixed belt speed value, to use an incremental encoder, or to input an analog current signal using the BAN100 analog module. If necessary, you can also set up the measurement of bulk density or mass flow rate, as well as a strategy for bulk height measurement. After carrying out these basic settings, you can perform a test measurement in order to verify the measurement contour and the generated measured value using the scan view in SOPAS. In order to optimize measurement performance, you can set up the system parameters. Under the system tab, you can adjust the tolerances against vibration and reflection. Reduce or increase the tolerance against vibration so that the volume flow rate measured value remains constant at zero with an empty conveyor belt. Reduce or increase the tolerance against reflection so that the reliability of the system meets your requirements. If you expect external effects such as dust or rain, snow or sunshine reflection on metal surface in your application, you can activate the optimization for outdoor applications function in order to avoid invalid measurements. If the conveyor belt has slits or gaps, you can activate the function Ignore measurement points below the reference contour. The contamination measurement box contains the settings for the level of contamination of the screen of the sensor that can be accepted. Change this accordingly to the environment of the installation if necessary. If you wish to monitor the position of the bulk material on the conveyor belt, you can go to the Bulk Edge tab, set up warnings in order to prevent the material from falling out of the belt. Furthermore, you can monitor the position of the conveyor belt outside of the measurement area by setting up warnings. This can help to avoid damages due to the belt slipping or tilting. The Balscan LMS 511 has two digital inputs which are used to signal the belt operation and reset the volume sum and mass sum. It also has six digital outputs in which the sensor can signal that certain totals have been reached, limits have been exceeded or dropped below, or the occurrence of information warnings. The Balscan can read inputs and outputs analog for 20 million per value via the analog module BAM100. To configure the module BAM100, go to the Interface tab and in the Inputs-Outputs box click the BAM100 button. 
Then you can configure the analog inputs and outputs. That's all for the basic settings of the Balscan LMS 511. Thanks for your attention. For further information, please have a look on the operating instruction that you can download from sick.com slash balscanlms511.